Yo guys, this is Cobb. The mob talent patch is going to be out really really soon. So if you haven't had access to the beta, things are about to get really really confusing. So this video is going to be a quick guide of how to DPS effectively in PvP with the new mob talents. To start off, Destruction Warlock AE, which is probably the most awesome looking shit I've ever seen. First off, we've got Havoc. Cast on an enemy in your next 3 damage spells will basically hit that target too. Think of it as a double cast, it's amazing for building up your embers. Next we've got Rain of Fire, now it can be placed like a DK's Death and Decay. Sweet for PvP AE now too. The most epic of all the new AE spells has to be Fire and Brimstone. Pop this in your next incinerator or emulate will hit every target nearby our current target. Not only is the damage pretty nice, it looks fucking amazing as well. Seriously, if you don't like how that looks, you don't have eyes. So anyway, spam all the stuff in uh, AE situations and you're good to go. Now before we go into the juicy one-shot macro bit, I want to brush over the best ways to generate your embers faster, which is going to be one of the most important things for Death and Mists, because the more embers you have, the more chaos balls you can be launching off. One really nice trick is to pop fire and brimstone, and then spread immolates to everyone. Immolate ticks have a chance to give you a small amount of ember, therefore the more you have up, the better your chances are. But really, the quickest way to get embers up is to fell flame. A lot. Don't spam it, we're not some kind of Iceland spamming frost mage and you'll go in that way anyway. But if you're in desperate need of an ember, pop dark soul to increase your crit chance, because when you crit, embers generate twice as fast, so you'll find yourself full of embers in no time. Right, now it's time for the bit that we've been waiting for, for like an entire expansion, and that's the nuke macro. Once you've got a couple of embers up, it's about time you chaos bowl or someone lucky fool, but before you do, make this macro, and you'll have all kinds of people raging on the forums. Using Dark Soul increases your critical strike chance, and chaos bolt actually scales from your crit chance. The more crit chance you have, the higher the thing's gonna hit. Naturally, you can macro that up with your unused PvP trinket, and get ready to one-shot kids. Another thing to remember, with Chaos Ball having such a long cast time, everyone is going to be trying to interrupt this shit. So remember to pop one ending resolve when you really really want to get a Chaos Ball off. It is our new shield wall spell. It actually gives you an aura mastery like effect, so if you want to be positive that your Chaos Ball will land, pop it before you start casting and you're immune to silences and kicks. Anyway guys, I just want to ask, I've been doing a lot of voiceovers recently. I guess I just want to know how you're finding them. Do you prefer the text or do you prefer the voiceovers? Uh, if you could just leave it in the comments, it would be awesome. Anyway, that wraps up my general PvP DPSing guide for Destro Works. As always, like, comment, subscribe for more Warlock content. Stay Destro guys, and I'll see you next time.